This is one of the most advanced commercial jets in the world. It's the backbone of airlines from Amsterdam to Salt Lake City. It's built by the third largest aircraft manufacturer on the planet, a global titan of aerospace with a $20 billion order backlog and a reputation for genius engineering. And this is the exact same company. Bankrupt, paralyzed, a national joke left for dead on a factory floor. If you were to walk into Hangar 3 in July 1991, the first thing you would have noticed wasn't the sight, but the sound, or rather, the lack of it. It was a silence that had weight to it, thick with the smell of cold metal and abandoned dreams. This was Embraer, the nation's industrial crown jewel, and if you listen closely, you could almost hear it bleeding out. So you have to ask, how does a company go from this, a graveyard of broken dreams, back to this? A world conquering force in an industry dominated by superpowers. This isn't a story about a comeback, it's a story about an impossibility. And it starts not with a CEO or a politician, but with a quiet, stubborn man who walked back into the fire to settle a promise he had made to a ghost.